Hey, what's up guys? This is the M4K from Tech Entourage. Welcome to your channel. Today, I'm gonna save you to get rid of the persistent notification in the Android 8 and 8.1. All of that after the intro. Do you like our videos? Tusky Guard section returns back every week with a new tutorial, so why not subscribe in order not to miss any? So, as already mentioned, today I'm gonna help you to get rid of the persistent notification that's stuck in your statue bar and bother you all the day. It's so easy and simple using only auto notification plugin. So, as you can see today, I'm in my mom's house, but I try my best to fulfill my duty with a tutorial every week. So, without any further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Let's get to my smartphone to see how it works. <clears throat> As we all know and we can see by using the Android Audio 8.0 or 8.1 we, we face some uh, persistent notification which occupies the notification panel and can be a little bit annoying till some point. So uh, they do occupy the notification panel in a way that if you are looking for a specific notification it is a little bit, little bit harder to find it as you can see some notifications are hidden some that's due to the lot of notification available in the notification panel so how we can rid of the persistent notification we have two uh, two ways in fact you can block them by signing to uh, settings app and notification and select the uh, the application that you want to uh, get the notification off and make this on off like this but unfortunately this will cause that uh, the system will block all the notification coming from that specific application which is not what we are looking for we are looking for to disable only the notification the persistent not notification that occupies our a notification panel so we can do that easily by using auto notification plugin from tasker let's go to notification plugin and let's hit the plus button yes and let's select the notification that we want to get rid of it title okay 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 and let's block another notification title okay okay it's so easy to do that Nova application, RT voice, okay, 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 and another one, auto magic, okay, 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 and another one which is super backup, okay, 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 and okay. Let's check now. We have two notifications from the AZ screen recorder, which I'm using now to screen record this uh, tutorial, and the task application. I really need these two uh, notifications, so I'm not going to remove them or block them in any sort of ways. So, like this, you can browse your Android system and notification panel like a boss. There is no annoying notification. Back days while I was using the Delight room, I used to have another persistent notification for the weather. I could also block this, uh, this notification by using the same method. It's easy, simple and fast and make your notification panel very clean and usable uh, for you. So this is it for today's tutorial. I hope you like it. So. As it's always been the case, so easy and simple, no magic with Tasker. Well, today it's not Tasker, but a Tasker plugin, which is auto notification. That's all for today's video. For any further information, questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comment section below. 
If you are new, please take a moment and consider subscribing. The subscribing button, you can find it over here or by the end of this episode over there. So, till next week, all I have to say is thank you for watching. Peace.